hello guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video i am going to build something like this check this out hi i'm elon your business friend how can i help you today hey elon can you help me to build a business plan for my uh, ai automation agency uh, can you just send me the business plan over to my email i would love to help you with that I can use the tool to generate a business plan for your AI automation agency, but I don't have access to your email. I can generate the business plan, and then we can figure out the best way to get it to you. Does that sound good? Uh, I don't need the email. Just, uh, just generate the business plan. That is it. Okay, great. Let me generate that business plan for your AI automation agency. Okay, I've started the workflow to generate the business plan for your AI automation agency. I'll let you know when it's ready. Okay. I'll let you know as soon as it is ready. Do you have any other questions I can help you with in the meantime? No, have you sent it how much time it takes? I have started the process, but I don't have an estimated time for when it will be completed. I okay, I have know. received it. Great. I'm glad you received it. Was the business plan what you were hoping for? Yeah. Do you need me? Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad I could help. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Nothing. So look at this, guys. This is a simple voice agent I have built to generate my voice assistant, like to generate my business plan using this voice assistant from Eleven Labs. So this is the simplest thing I have built, and let's build together. So what you have to do is to first uh, create your Eleven Labs account. So you have, can just easily sign in with your email address or sign in with uh, your Google account. After signing up, you have to create, uh, you have to go to your dashboard and go to the conversational AI part. So you have to just click on this button and go to the agent section. Inside the agent section, you have to just click the button plus and create an agent. For creating an agent, you have to just choose any of the template given here. I'm just going to choose the support agent or maybe you can choose the blank template. Okay, I'm just choosing the blank template to get started and creating one agent. I am calling it the business coach. Okay, so this is going to help me to build the business. Okay, now this business coach, I am just going to define the language. This is nothing. I have to just uh, choose an additional language. I'm leaving it as it of now and uh, putting it what is the first thing he would say so i am saying hi uh, i am bark or i am let's say chandra i am your business coach how can i help you today okay so this is a simple thing that it will say i have said save next thing this is the something this is a system prompt. Here you have to define what is the behavior of this whole bot would look like. So I'm saying uh, you are an expert business coach and you have a tool which is going to generate a tool, let's say, called any 10 which uh, generates the business plan from the user's idea and send it via email directly okay you have to collect the idea from the users and use tool to execute it answer in clear and short sentences okay that is it this is the system prompt I have written this is from scratch I am not uh, changing any LLM model as of now just simple temperature token and knowledge base. Knowledge base is important. You can add any kind of knowledge if you want to integrate, uh, add your URL files and something. I'm not going to use anything. And this is a tool. You have already an in-call tool, but I'm just using the new tool that is a custom tool. And for creating a custom tool, I have to choose the webhook. 
So right now I'm just calling it NA10 and I am just putting a description like uh, this tool will help to generate the business plan. Okay. And I'm going to hit the post request to where to my Anit and URL. Okay. This is something which is directly related to the NA10. So for setting up the NA10, you have just every idea about things. I'm just going to my NA10 tools. Okay. So this is the NA10 tool that I have built. So what you have to do is you have to create a webhook. So what you have to do, I'm just creating a parallel so that you have the idea. So I am going to hit the play button and going to say webhook. Okay. Just click this button and you can copy this URL, right? And you choose the post thing here because this is the post request going to be handled. Copy this URL and go to your 11 labs and paste it directly here. Okay. Now, second thing you have to do is to uh, put some body parameters, which is how you're going to collect the thing. So collect the user idea and send it over to the webhook. Simple. Okay. And click here, type the string. I would say idea. Uh, Let's say what is the idea. So here the agent is going to collect the idea from the user over the voice. I will add the tool and this is it. Save the tool. Now this is time to test. I'm going to test an agent. Click here. Hi, I am Chandra. I am your business coach. How can mm. I help you today? Help me to build a business plan for the idea of AI automation agency. Okay, I can help you with that. So you want to create a business plan for an AI automation agency. Is that right? Yeah. Great. Could you please provide me with a bit more detail about your idea? For example, what just Just to do whatever you can do. Okay. I will generate a business plan for an AI automation agency. I will send you the plan via email. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. I have started generating the business plan and sent it to your email. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that is it. Thank you. Happy I could help with your business plan. Have a wonderful day. Got it. And I think I have got the request here. It is working fine. Okay. So now what you have to do, you have to just collect the data and edit the field here. Let me do it again. It's taking time. Hi, I am Chandra. I am your business coach. Can, can you I call? You can you call the AI tool that you have right now called N18 and generate a business plan for my AI marketing agency? Okay, I can help with that. Just to confirm, you want me to generate a business yes, plan yes, for an AI? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will generate a business plan you can see? for your AI marketing. This is working fine. I have started generating. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? Just, okay, disconnect this. And you can see here, this webhook is just a simple URL. I have just post request and collected the idea. That is the AI marketing agency. This is directly coming from that prompt I have added inside the 11 labs. So it is just taking the prompt that I have added inside the tool. So you can see here inside the tool uh, I have added like collect the user idea and this is the idea identifier that is coming and it is just collecting the idea and sending me over here. Okay. I am taking this idea and using the edit field node, which is just, uh, I am just taking this idea section and convert to the idea to just streamline a little bit. After it, I have just used an open AI node. So a open AI node is just simple a open AI account. I have integrated here. You can directly and easily create your credential with OpenAI and add your API key here. Simple, very easy to integrate. You can watch a few videos or you can directly go into the OpenAI platform and create it. Here I've just added uh, the text resource. Just choose a text resource and second operation is message a model because I just want to generate something. And here is again, you have to choose a model. I'm using GPT-4 or Mini, which is the base model. And this is going to help me to generate the business model with a cheapest version. And here's the prompt. 
I have just written a simplest prompt based on the idea. So I have just taken the idea from the edit field like this. And here you have to, I, I have asked AI to write me a business plan, try to include the sort, sort analysis that is the basic uh, one term inside the business plan and make it clear and structured. And when I do this, I test this button, it is going to generate me the business plan. And one thing it is generating the business plan in markdown format and I want to convert to the email one. So let me remove it for the markdown for now and just uh, take this markdown. Let's see. And I have to just send this content. So I am just going to take this content from the open AI and send it to over the email, right? And just test this out. Click this button. And you can see here, this is the older email. I'm going to delete it. You can see this, the new fresh email came. And you can see here, this is the fresh email in the markdown format. This is it. You can convert this markdown to the HTML format. For that, you can use a node called markdown to HTML. I am just search markdown and click here the markdown and you have to choose the markdown to HTML and you have to choose the markdown format. I am just going to take the content drag and drop here this is it test the step and you can see here this whole data has been converted to the html now i'm going to the email one take the markdown data that is the data one and put it in the message section remove this and say this is an html one okay test the setup go to the email go back refresh it okay now you can see this is the new structured business analysis in my account this is it and you can see here just sent from the init and i can remove it by simply adding a properties uh appendant and this remove this okay this is it you have to do and your workflow is ready so this is how you can create your own workflow with ease. This is the simplest use case I have found to connect the 11 lab with an A10. You can add more kind of things with the 11 labs and more tools with 11 labs to make your voice agent much more powerful. For example, you can add and build the platform like connecting your calendar, your Google Sheets, your documentations, your databases, anything. For now, I just created the Gmail one. For creating the Gmail one, you have to follow the instructions similar to the correcting with the Google Sheet or the Google Calendar because you have to create either your Google OAuth account or the service account. For the Google OAuth account, you have to follow the instructions. You can go to the documentation sections and follow these instructions very, very easily. I will re-record a video for this if you need any help with creating and updating the Gmail uh, node how you can how you want to add your email uh, uh, like gmail credentials inside the n8 and i will create a next video for it hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching again please don't forget to like and subscribe because i keep bringing you this kind of content so far so thank you uh, and keep learning